Hi everyone, this is Kamel. As your only source of video editing, we are here to share with you some useful editing tips and techniques that could boost your video creation and take it to the next level. But before we start, make sure you free download the software through the link we put in the description box down below. All right, now let's get into today's video. Do you often find your own recording boring? Recording the videos with moving cameras can add a lot of fun and emotions. However, most of us have only our hands to rely on for controlling the moves of recording devices. Without a camera sliders or other professional devices, the recorded footage usually looked shaky and unstable. Of course, we can get stable frames by keeping the camera still, but the video might get boring quickly. The good news is, with Video Pro Flagger, we can easily get rid of this problem by making fake camera movements in one click. So in today's video, let me show you how to get there. A small tip, recording video at higher resolution can give the post-production workflow the greater flexibility. Let's firstly get a mid shot or a full shot footage. Here I'm gonna use this. A man is walking on the real road as an example video. I want the video look like it's recorded by the camera moving vertically from down to up. Let's open up Video Prac Flagger within double click. Create a new project. Add a prepare footage to the media library. Drag the footage onto video track. Click on the motion button to enter the motion editor window. Next, let's click on add a keyframe for adding a keyframe on the first frame of the video. Now, a viewing box appears on the left screen. The preview screen on the right displays the frames inside the viewing box. We can left-click the mouse on the middle of the viewing box and drag it to change the position. We can also drag the eight small dots to zoom the selected range. Here, let's keep this size. Drag the box to the lower part of the footage, close to the button. Keep the man centered. Well, we have added effects for the first keyframe. Next, let's add our second keyframe. I want to set a keyframe at a 6 second. Click on Add a Keyframe again. Now, the same small viewing box appears here. Drag it upwards until the man is selected. Let's preview the video. Mm, we are almost there. Things after the second frame are unedited. Suppose you want to maintain a modified effect for the frame followed by. Just move the playhead to the end of the video. Hit Add Keyframe once again. Now you've applied the edit to the entire video. If you are satisfied with the result, hit Apply to apply that fake camera movement effect on the video. In this way, we can add certain emotions to a scene. For example, we just fade the vertically upward moving of the camera that usually indicates the start of a storytelling. We can also do the opposite, faking the vertically downward movement of the camera. So the video starts with focusing on the man's head. It looks as the man is stepping out from the footage. This will give the audiences a feeling that the story ends here. 
The way to get this effect is the same as we did before, simply exchanging the effects we have applied to the two keyframes. So here, let me make a quick demonstration. Okay, that's it. We're finishing the edits. Click on export to save the video that's edited with the fake camera movement effect on your local desk. Alright, now you've reached the end of today's video about how to fake a total camera movement in Video Product Flagger. I think I've got it. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next Sky tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye.